Welcome to my YouTube channel guys Today I'll show you how to wire four wires of a condensing fan motor Okay, this is condensing This is the stand Okay And I'll show you how to wire First thing one. to do is I'm going to short my test probe And the reading is Okay, 28 keeps on moving now I'm going to shorten this wire into three okay between these two terminal two and three we got a reading of 48 okay goes to 39 okay we have a reading of 39 now these two terminal now take note guys these two terminal is almost shorted it has a bit difference with the reading because it is being wired a series inside the fan motor and take a look 34 when I short this test prod and when I put this between two and three terminal and the reading is okay guys look at the reading it's 37 ohms so meaning this wire is a jumper wire okay it's a jumper wire now we have only three wires now okay First thing to do is I'm looking for a highest reading guys. Now take a look. Between one and two one and two the reading is nine hundred twenty-nine K and let's check this one. It's a 460 ohms. Okay, 459 ohms. And how about this one? It's a 470, guys. Now, these two terminal having the highest reading. Therefore, this wire is the common terminal. Okay, guys? And this common terminal, I'm going to wire it with my AC line. And this is my line. And this is my neutral. I'm going to put that here. As easy as that, guys. Now, I'm going to put it there so there is no way of short circuiting okay guys this two terminal or wire is for the line capacitor so I'm going to plug in here and tighten and the problem now guys is we don't, we have a two wire here as I discussed a while ago this is a shorted wire so the one wire goes to the neutral okay neutral and the other line goes to the capacitor this is the line capacitor guys so for the fixed speed uh, this shorted one is for the running you can put it here you can wire it like that okay so since the one manufacturer this fan motor is have its own unique wiring diagram they use four not three 
so let's gonna find out guys front motor rotation is counterclockwise okay like that okay let's power it on and let's see if the fan blade will spin like that okay there is it guys let's power it off is this fan motor one without the capacitor the answer is no and let's prove that see it's not running how about if I'm going to engage that capacitor it runs right it runs but the moment I pull this capacitor the fan motor, the fan motor runs but the speed reduces and when I put it again the speed will increase there is it remove the speed is reducing that's all and thank you and I hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you and God bless